Hey, what's up, man? Hope you're doing all right. I'm always happy to learn some, some riffs for you. It was fun to learn some uh, 90s country rock stuff here anyway. Um, let me see here. So he does it on acoustic. He's got a capo on it. Uh, he's got the high E string tuned, uh, tuned down a bit, I believe. I'm kind of guessing there, but he's doing like some open tuning stuff. And I think it's the slide guitar player that's uh, doing the main riff. But let me make sure I know what this high E's tuned to. So it's a, it's tuned down to a D. So everything's the same except high E is tuned down to a D and then you capo uh, the fourth fret there. So then I tune it up once the capo's on. It should lock it in a little bit nicer. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the song on. Let's see if we can hear it. He does a little lead in, and the lead in, let me get the phone turned to my guitar now. Let's see here. Production quality might not be the best. Um, so he, he starts out over here. All the shapes are right around here. And then, let me see, that little walk up is, he's got a G down here. There we go, that's like how the song starts. So it's hard to hit the walk up because the song starts on it and I didn't put it into uh, an editor or anything. But I think it's something like that. And so, okay, if you want to see how to do that, this is like a, you're kind of doing a G shape, but on with capo four. So you're hitting this one here, which is seventh fret of the low E. And then you're doing a bend there on the seventh fret of the G string. So, so it's seven, seven, and it bends to an open G string there. Let me play it along with it real quick here, like I said I was going to. So I'll show you the main riff and the main chords, but they're kind of riffing around while they're while they're hitting the chords. Um, but when he's singing, they're not doing nearly as much lead stuff. But I think if you got the lead riff down in the chords, you might be able to to get through it okay. Um, so that riff again, it's seven, seven, and then goes to an open G, and then it does a little riff there. You have to practice the rhythm a little bit, but it's. So right there, it's so you got an open D string in there to make that riff happen. And then it, um, it hits that open G string again. So that's that, that first riff. One more time. Okay, so that's like the first shape. And then the second one is similar, but slightly less. So it's 
Here's the first two shapes then. Third one. Fourth one. And then it goes into the chords. And that first chord there, because of that open, that uh, D, that having the high E tuned down to the D, you get this like nice jangly chord there with your, um, uh, we got the seventh fret fretted here on the low E, and then the seventh fret on the B string. And you can hit all the strings there, and I think that's what he's doing for most of the verses of this. But then they're kind of riffing randomly wherever they want. Um, I can help you sort more of those out if you want me to, but I thought I'd just do the main riff for now. Um, so let's see if we can get through all those shapes. Number one, we went through quite a bit, but I'll play one and two. Play along with it again here, see if it's making sense. We start it again, turn up the song a bit. Okay, here we go. Try it again here. So the chords are doing like a G to a D shape, um, but we can't do the full D shape because of the way we tune that down. Uh, but it sounds kind of good just going from this one, both on the seventh fret. And then just kind of those three notes from the D chord there. Open D, uh, the sixth fret on the G string, and then the seventh fret on the B string. Um, so he's just, it's a blues pattern there, very classic one, four, five, one type thing. Um, the other chord during it, let me see, I'll start it a little bit later here. So after the initial riff, I don't think they really go back to it and they just jam on that blues uh, the whole time. But um, the only chord I didn't really stop to show was this one here, which is a real cool sounding chord when it's tuned like this. Again, so that's the first one. And then the second one, which is like a C chord, just fretting those same ones and hitting everything else open. Now, here's what I think the Sly guy's doing. I think he's got his pinky down uh, right here on the seventh fret, like the whole time, like while that riff's going. So you can try to mess with that on acoustic. It might sound cool. I don't have a decent acoustic around, and they're definitely doing this on acoustic. So what I mean by that is he's playing the riff, but keeping this pinky down the whole time so it sounds kind of like...
me get my tuning a little better and I'll try it again there. just kind of jamming there well um i think that might do it for you but let me know if you want more it's always fun to learn stuff that's like a little bit challenging finding a weird tuning um it's like a slide guitar doing it so trying to get that on guitar is kind of funny um, but who knows maybe somebody else would do it a little bit different but uh let me know if that points you in the right direction man it's real good to hear from you